to protest against the inhuman genocide that is going on against the Palestinian people. And the support being extended to the Israel regime by the government of India in blatant violation of our time-tested policy of solidarity with the Palestinian people who fight for their own land. It is really shocking that the government of India has gone to the extent of abstaining from the discussion of the UN resolution, supporting Israel and the US. We have stooped to the level of becoming an ally of the Nexus. What we are witnessing today is the brutal massacre of the Palestinian people by the Zionist Israeli regime. The reality is that innocent people are being killed. Women and children are being murdered. If we do not condemn this massacre, we are being complacent in this ethnic cleansing. Subsequent to the current conflict, as of 27th October, 7,326 Palestinians have been killed. 18,967 Palestinians have been injured. 1.4 million Palestinians have been uprooted. And 27,781 residential units have been destroyed in Gaza alone. Despite this deplorable loss of precious human lives, India abstained on a resolution adopted by the UN General Assembly calling for a humanitarian truce. Even when the international community overwhelmingly demanded that there be an immediate halt to the violence, India chose, in, chose not to support it, laying bare the current administration's blind support to the US-backed Zionist regime in Israel. Strong protest should be registered over India's shameful vote of abstention. We should be ashamed. The emergency session of the UN General Assembly was called under the uniting of unite, uniting, uniting for peace mandate. The General Assembly called for the immediate and unconditional release of all civilians being illegally held captive, demanding their safety, well-being, and human treatment in compliance with international law. It also reaffirmed that a just and lasting solution to the Israeli-Palestinian conflict can only be achieved by peaceful means based on the relevant UN resolutions and in accordance with international law and on the basis of the two-state solution. Despite the General Assembly's position being aligned to India's time-tested stance on the issue, we abstain. Indian people's support to the legitimate Palestinian right to their homeland predates our independence and was part of our freedom struggle. Our support to the Palestinian cause emerged as a national consensus. India's current, current vote in the UN General Assembly and in the UNHRC two years back violates this consensus. It is a complete U-turn from our West Wales stand, which had manifested in India consistently championing all the UN resolutions and opposing Israel's blatant violations of those resolutions and its illegal occupation of Palestinian lands. The open backing of the US administration has emboldened the Israeli government. It enacted a law declaring Israel as a Jewish nation state. The Gaza Strip, home to over 2 million Palestinians, is repeatedly under Israeli attack. Since 2007, Israel has imposed a blockade. Even humanitarian aid is allowed to enter Gaza only if Israel so desires. In 2020, the UN called Israeli occupation in Palestine 
the longest belligerent occupation in the modern world. Israel also earned the dubious distinction of being the most condemned country by the General Assembly of the United Nations. The left in India has always stood by the Palestinian cause. And even now, we stand resolutely with the Palestinians. It is evident in the joint statement issued by the CPIM and CPI yesterday. Respecting the overwhelming mandate of the UN General Assembly, there must be an immediate ceasefire. Let me conclude by once again expressing solidarity with the people of Palestine in the cause of Palestine. Let us continue our joint efforts so that India retains its moral compass and stands with the oppressor against the oppressors. Thank you.